What's up guys, welcome back to Chris Wong Vlog. So the video you're about to see is a day in my life on board a cruise ship. What is working on a cruise ship like? But it's not a, I would say it's not a regular day because there are actually no passengers on board the ship right now. But I thought it would be kind of interesting for you to see what a regular day in my life is like whilst I'm still on board the ship because even though there are no passengers on board, I am still working every single day. So I came up with this idea that I would show you a day in my life. I actually filmed it over the course of a few days, but I've put it together into one video to make it look like one day. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Here is what being a crew member is like on board a cruise ship when there are no passengers on board. Enjoy. Good morning, guys. It's currently 8 a.m. in the morning, just a standard day in the life on board the ship. And of course, what better way to start the day than with breakfast? So right now I am going to make my way over to the crew mess. Now, again, a lot of you have asked me in the past to show the crew mess and show the food. I do not have full permission to show the entire crew mess and show the entire spread of food and drinks that we have to offer, but I can show like, I guess just a little sneak peek, or at least I can show you what I'm going to have for breakfast today without really showing anything that I'm not supposed to. All right, I'm in the crew mess right now. And look at this, we got an omelet station. And then over here, we've got a whole selection of healthy toast and eggs and avocado. And then over on this side, we've got some scrambled eggs of some sort and sausage. Over here, egg muffins. But I tell you what, I am loving the sight of this. Oh, they turned the light on for me. Thank you guys. This looks incredible. That was absolutely delicious. The brown bread, um, the avocado and the egg. I tell you what, when it comes to the breakfast on board Royal Caribbean ships, it's always consistently good in the crew mess, all right? When it comes to breakfast, lunch and dinner, breakfast is by far my favorite meal out of the three that's, uh, that the crew mess food has on offer for us. Lunch and dinner on the other hand, no, no comment, but anyway, it's now currently close to 10 a.m. now, and as you can see, I've got changed because it's time to go to the gym and let's get a quick workout in. So, with that being said, let's make my way up to deck 16, all the way forward, and you will find the Vitality Fitness Center. Okay, and welcome to the gym. As you can see, there is an abundance of towels here available for you. Weights, dumbbells, pretty much every machine you could want. Treadmills and cardio session. God, decent workout. Now, um, now it's time to start getting ready for work. All right, what do you think? Do I look more like a respectable crew member now? I think so. Okay, time to go to the casino. All right, so welcome to the casino. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, this is where I work on board the cruise ship and I just want to go over a couple things because a lot of you in the past and a lot of you on my videos in my comment section and you've told me this in real life you would like me to do a video talking more about the casino talking about the program how the points and all that work here's the thing I first of all I already have a video uh, briefly explaining sort of what my job is and how the casino program works but I do not have full permission to go into full detail about 
you know the program benefits and uh, how to sort of earn your way up the program and things like that I don't have full permission from Casino Royale to make a video like that and that's for two reasons reason number one is there's a chance that I may accidentally say something wrong or give inaccurate information and obviously the company don't want me to give misleading information to tens of thousands of people around the world and second of all the Casino Royale program the benefits program for our players actually changes quite often changes almost on a monthly basis so for me to make a video talking to you about how let's say crew certificates work that might be accurate for one month but then the following month the whole program may have changed and then that information that I've just given out again to tens of thousands of people have now or is now irrelevant and again that becomes old information and then the video would actually just confuse more people because people will then say oh Chris Wong said this in his last video but then it was true a month ago but now it's not true anymore so those are the two main reasons why I can't really make video talking about my job and going into specific details all right guys so right now I'm just on a little break and um, what better way to spend a little bit of time off on the running track now and I'm actually gonna do a couple laps around the uh, around the ship because one lap on the running track uh, one full circuit is about a quarter of a mile so you do that a couple times you definitely get your daily step count in which is always very important but yeah I mean days like today where the you know where the Sun is just glorious and I can just walk and enjoy the view of Port Angeles that's where I am I've learned where I am now Port Angeles in Washington and days like this is just you know really nice take advantage of having a running track on board the cruise ship definitely one of my recommendations and yeah overall I'm having a great time so far at the time I'm recording this video it's already been one month for me on board like how fast has that gone a whole month on board the ship already incredible and I've got a good feeling about this contract I think this is gonna be a lot of fun I think it's gonna be a lot more smoother compared to the last contract uh, yeah obviously I had a good time last contract on board Odyssey of the Seas but of course being a part of the restart there were definitely a lot of challenges a lot of things that I can't really go into full detail about but yeah there were definitely a lot of COVID circumstances on board which definitely made made the whole contract a bit more a bit more challenging it definitely tested me as a crew member and I can honestly say last contract on board Odyssey of the Seas I have never worked that hard in my entire life again not Royals fault not the cruise lines fault it was definitely just like I said COVID circumstances that definitely made the contract a lot more challenging than it should have been so the way this contract has gone so far and I definitely think the worst of the pandemic is over now I do think uh, this contract is gonna be a lot more pleasant a lot more enjoyable and yeah I'm excited for guests to actually finally come on board but yeah I can't get over this view <laughs> I feel like I'm like the only person on the running track right now as well. It's funny because to a lot of crew members, this is uh, like this like the weather right now is actually really cold for them, which is why you don't see a lot of people walking along the running track. Obviously, me being from England, I'm very much used to the cold weather. So this for me is like a nice spring day. But then for some other crew members from other parts of the world, they are <laughs> they're like walking around the ship in the coats and things, and I'm actually like getting a sweat on right now well as for now I am definitely most enjoying my step count it's not the weather's not always like this I know in my videos it always looks like it's beautiful and sunny but the reality is sailing out of Seattle and this part of the world or this side of the US the weather is, is a lot more colder and the seas are definitely a lot more rough and there are definitely a lot more gray days compared to uh, the Caribbean and the Florida weather I hope you can still hear me there's a plane flying above me somewhere and it looks like there's some people testing out the North Star right now I have had the opportunity to try it out now and it is definitely the experience so I would 100% also recommend 
for you guys to do the North Star if you were ever on board a Quantum class Royal Caribbean cruise ship. So they're not actually testing out the Flow Rider right now. As you can see, it's turned off. The sports staff are actually testing out the Skydive. How cool is this? Look at that. If you guys have never done this before, I highly recommend it. It's definitely one of my favorite activities to do on board. I hope you can see that. It's a very bright day, it's a big reflection. But look at this guy. And every day, the Esplanade looks better and better. A lot of the staff have arrived now to start opening the venues, so the ship is actually looking really, really good right now. We are just days away from the first revenue cruise. Quick little break in the crew cafe. This is basically just as good as Starbucks. Okay, can I get the white chocolate mocha, please? Oh, uh, okay. Okay, yeah, you, you make it. It sounds good to me. You want the cold one or hot one? Uh, hot one, please. Hot one. The regular size? Regular size, thank you. Thank you. Ooh, look at nice. this. Yeah, it looks nice. Thank you, appreciate it. Okay. Ah, and now just enjoying a little coffee break here in the Crew Cafe. It really is a nice little cool chill out. Oh, look, they've even got computers over there for us to do some work. So I've just finished work now and I'm back in the cabin and we've got a cool exciting thing happening tonight. So I think I did mention this briefly in one of my previous videos, but the cool thing about starting a new ship ready for a launch is that us crew members get to test out the venues before the passengers actually come on board. And tonight we are going to stress test the bumper cars on board. <laughs> Look at this, this is so cool. Can you believe this is a cruise ship? Oh my goodness. All right, my turn. And remember, very important, safety belt. Safety belt. All right, what color do I want? Yellow, red. Red's my favorite color, so let's do it. Ready, give me some noise. Ready. And two, and one, Let's go. Oh, I'm going backwards. Whoa. All right, I'm gonna stay. Stay around the outside. I'm about to hit someone in a minute. It's weird, it goes backwards on its own. This is harder to drive than it looks. Whoa! Hey, I'm doing pretty good. I haven't been hit yet. Look at this thing. Oh! I'm stuck. It's weird, it goes backwards and forwards. This is awesome. Basketball. Whoa, 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 whoa. No! Oh, that was a good one. Boy, no! Oh. Yo, these things are violent. Stay around the edge. Stay around the edge. Woo! Oh, someone's chasing me. I'm gonna get away from it. This is the C Plex on deck 15. This is the sport court, also the bumper car venue, basketball, dancing. Yo, the vibe is freaking awesome in this place how cool is this i cannot believe this is a cruise ship right now incredible only royal caribbean can deliver on this all right ready for round two but this time it's going to be a bit more intense the whole casino team is going to be riding this one we're all going to be smashing into each other all right here we go let's get some speed mario's here oh all right that's one Go on, Q! Go! <laughs> oh! Yo, this one is very. Oh, jeez! Whoa, Katrina! Oh, I don't think so! Ah, get out of the way! Ah, oh. Coming around! Yep! Oh. Oh jeez! That was the hardest one yet. I got whiplash in that one. You got destroyed. Oh my god! No, I'm stuck. I'm actually stuck. 
We got traffic. No problem here. We got traffic. We got traffic jam. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Do me a favor, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel if you are brand new. That is the best way to keep up with all of my cruise ship vlogs. And I will see you in my next video. So in the meantime, I've been Chris Wong. See you later. Peace.